Made with love by Indigro. Hi everyone, my name is Deepika Kaur Pooji and I am the author of children's book, What Color Is My Patka? So today I wanted to share a little bit more information with all of you about what is a patka, who wears it, why do we wear it, and later on I'm actually going to show you how I tie it on my son Ricky's head. So first, what is a patka? So a patka is a head covering that is worn by young Sikh boys. So in our religion, Sikhism, we do not cut our hair. So as you can see, I have very long hair. As you will see later in the video, my son Ricky, he's six and a half, he has very long hair and he has never cut it. So a patka is used to keep his hair tidy and neat throughout the day. So this is actually what a patka looks like. It is a square piece of fabric. It has four strings, one on each side. And again, Ricky ties a patka on his head every day as a part of his process of getting dressed. He does not leave the house without it. He puts it on every day, again, to keep his hair tidy, keep his hair neat, because I know that six and a half year old boys have a ton of energy. And if he didn't wear it, his hair would be all over the place. So a little bit more about why we don't cut our hair. So first, like many religions, people practice religion in their own way. Everyone has their own journey and their own practices within their religion. So for us, we do not cut our hair and many practicing six do not cut their hair. And the thought behind that is our bodies and our hair are special gifts that were given to us by our Guruji or our God. So we do whatever we can to take care of our bodies, take care of our hair, keep it neat, keep it clean, and to keep it in the natural and purest form that it was given to us. So when Ricky, my son, or my daughter, Serena, ask me, Mama, why don't we cut our hair? The simple answer is, it is our special gift from Guruji, and we take care of it. So a little bit more about patkas, they can come in different colors, they come in different sizes. So as you grow older and your head gets a little bigger, you might need a bigger size. They can even come in fun patterns like polka dots or even tie dye. One question a lot of people ask frequently is, will Ricky, do boys always wear a patka as they grow older? And the answer is yes and no. So as you get older, as Ricky becomes a teenager, he will eventually transition into a turban or in Punjabi, we call it a pagadi. And that usually happens sometime when you're a teenager, but many adult men do still wear a patka. They may wear it as a more casual head covering, they may wear it when they exercise, or they may choose to wear it every day. Another question people often have is, do only boys wear patkas or turbans? And the answer is no. Some women can choose to wear a turban if they want to keep their hair tidy and neat, and many do. A little bit more about the religion. So the religion originated in India, in the northern region of India called Punjab. Sikhism is the fifth largest religion in the world with over 30 million Sikhs worldwide. All right, everyone. So as promised, I have my son here, whose name is? Ricky. And how old are you? Six and a half. And he is six and a half years old. And I am going to demonstrate how we tie his hair up every day and how we actually tie a patka on his head. So the first thing that I wanted to show you all is how long Ricky's hair is. So as we talked about earlier, we don't cut our hair. So Ricky's hair has never been cut. And you can see it's even longer than mine already. So the first step before we tie a patka is actually tying his hair into a bun on top of his head, which in Punjabi, we call this bun a juda. So I'm just gonna tie it like so. And then I'm gonna take a rubber band to secure it. And now, now that his juda is done, we are ready to tie a patka on. So the first thing that we do 
is we take the butka and we place it just about halfway onto his forehead and we can always adjust this after if we need to. And then we're gonna take two strings and we're going to tie them into a knot in the back. And you wanna make sure that this is pretty secure because this is sort of the foundation of the patka. And then I'm gonna rotate Ricky just a little bit so you can see what's going on back here. So you can see now we have the other side and the two strings here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take one side, I'm gonna wrap it around the Judah like so, and then I'm gonna take the other one and take it from the other side, and then I'm just gonna secure it in another knot back here. And once the patka is tied, then you can make any adjustments, you can tuck any flyaway hairs in, and he is all dressed, he is ready to go. And that is how we tie a patka, and that's how Ricky gets dressed every day. So you may know people or even a friend who wears a head covering as a part of their religion that they practice. You may know someone who wears a yarmulke, maybe someone who wears a hijab. And now I hope you all learned a little bit more about what a patka is, who wears a patka, and why we wear it. So next time you see someone who's wearing an article of faith or dressed a little bit differently as a part of their religion, I encourage you all to ask questions because when we all know better, we can do better. I hope you learned something today and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at integralkids.com for more.